Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple marinara sauce that you can use now or put it in the freezer for later on down the road. It's really easy, so let's get started. What you're going to need is a tablespoon of olive oil, three cloves of garlic that have been minced, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes with the juices. And uh, you could use fresh tomatoes if you want, but we're keeping it simple, keeping it quick. Canned tomatoes are the way to go for convenience. And uh, we'll get right along with it. So I've got my oil preheating here in the pan. You don't want to go overboard with the oil because it's going to actually hinder the sauce from sticking to the noodles. So you want just enough to be able to cook up the garlic. And uh, it's going to go really quickly because garlic doesn't take long to get fragrant. But you're looking, um, should start smelling really strong. All right, carefully you're going to want to add your tomatoes. It's probably going to splash a little bit, so just be careful. And that's really all there is to it right now. You want to get that up to a simmer and then reduce the heat to low and let that go for like 10-15 minutes and then we'll add in our herbs. For this recipe you can use fresh or dry herbs. I'm actually doing a combo. I have dried oregano, about a tablespoon, and then I'm going to do three tablespoons of fresh basil. You can do dried basil. It really doesn't matter. I just have it, so I figured I'd use it. Really quick work of cutting up basil is to stack them all together, kind of roll them up, grab your knife, and then just give them a quick chop. Sharp knife is essential for this to keep the leaves from bruising. Just love the smell of fresh basil. All right, so that's it for the basil. And then uh, now we're just gonna let this continue simmering. Give it a stir every now and then. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. It's thickened up, it looks great. All we're gonna do now is add in our oregano. It's one tablespoon. And roughly about three tablespoons of basil. Again, I'm using the fresh, but you can do whatever you want. And you can serve it right now from there, or, you know, get some of these freezeable containers here, fill them up, freeze them for now, give them to some friends, you know, whatever. Enjoy. Enjoy. 